Got a 71 911. This car started life as a 911 T. About 153 horsepower, I believe. Uh, flat six engine. Basic, uh, not the 911 S, which was the sportier version. But still a lightweight car from the 70s. Fun little car to drive. Been uh, what's referred to as a resto mod. Because it's been modified some by the previous owner or previous owners. One of the things they did was the, the Gulf colors on it and the Gulf decals for it. They added a few things like the, the hood hold downs for it. It actually runs the release inside as well as the the other hold downs, which is the kind of the race car look. Added a triangle front strut bar for it. Help keep the strut towers in place, make it handle a little bit better. Pop those back on. Original headlights, these are actually Euro headlights, they're H4s. A little bit brighter than the stock US headlights. Kind of a common upgrade on it. Haven't gone to LED headlights or anything. It's still got that older look, which personally I like versus the newer stuff. I like the newer stuff on the cars that are a lot faster, but on this one it kind of just sits right on the car and looks right. Kind of just is what it is. Inside, got a new interior. Seats redone by classic GTS seats. Or GTS classic seats. Got a little older style, no headrest. Bucket seats, but this is what they had back in back in the day. They didn't have rest back, have any headrests in the day. So Momo Prototipo steering wheel. Got a tack that goes about 63, 6400 RPM, the red line. Got a little different shift knob and shifter in it. It's a Weevil shifter and shift knob. Got the Porsche logo keychain. Still the older dash. No AC in it, just, just heat and fresh air. No sunroof, so you had more headroom in the car, which taller drivers always really appreciate because all things considered, this car is really small by today's standards, so the taller drivers appreciate the extra headroom. The seats in the back actually flip down. We'll go around the other side of the car real quick and show you. Rear seats, they have seat belts back here, so if you had passengers with really short legs that could fit back here, or your little kids, then the seats also flip down. So you could actually just put some groceries or suitcase or maybe a small set of golf clubs back there. Not a big set of golf clubs, that's for sure. And then if you wanted to have passengers back there, flip the seats up, to snap the seats back up. They've got a little snap up there at the top, snap up here. And that would hold them in place and pop the seatbelts on. Notice it does not have power windows or power locks, which most people are used to nowadays. So if you wanted the window up or down, it was the, the old school. Crank it up, crank it back down. Some of you may not even uh, have ever done that before. And locks, couldn't just press a button if you wanted to lock this side and you were driving. You had to reach over and manually lock it. Now, out back, we've got a little bit of a change on the engine. Originally, like I said, 153 horsepower out of a flat six. Previous owner had added a 3.2 liter out of an 86 911. And it's actually all stock. So it still runs the stock airflow meter, stock airbox. Basically, the conversion consists of taking the 86 911 engine, the wiring harness, the ECU or control unit for the car. It all literally just bolts right into this car. You have to kind of make a new place for the, the wiring harness to go through and the control unit. Right here, it looks like it's missing something, and it is. Normally, there's a, in the 86 model, there's an AC compressor there. On this car, they did not add the air conditioning, so it has no air conditioning. The current owner is uh, trying to decide if we're going to put an electric air conditioning in it. We may do that, and if so, we'll do a, a uh, 
share you a video on that showing a, a classic retro AC kit on it. One of the things in the 911s they required you to do quite regularly was to add oil because they did burn some oil. This too is kind of something different. This oil cap comes off right there. But inside here, you got a little dipstick. That's how you check the oil. It has to be checked with the car running and an idle. There's a gauge on the dash also that, that reads it. Some people like to do it the old manual way with the dipstick though. And there is a little hole in there. If you look inside. A little hole inside the oil fill there. And the dipstick has to go back in there. If you do not get it in there, that dipstick gets lost inside there. So you want to be sure to get it inside there. This engine had a little over 200 horsepower. It's uh, 207 to 214, depending on which year of uh, 3.2 engine it was. This one was 207 horsepower originally. It still has the stock chip in it and stock exhaust on it. So it's actually still about that horsepower. Current owners already told me we want to go and upgrade it, so we're going to make some changes to that, and we'll probably get it up around 230 horsepower just doing some bolt-on stuff. And it'll make it even more fun. Still has a 901 gearbox, which is the, the one that originally came with the car. Uh, still good enough to handle the horsepower of it. Uh, runs a smaller tire than what you'd see on some of the newer 911s. You can see it's a fairly skinny tire, 15 by 6 inch wheel. And it makes it much more entertaining to, to drive because you've got a much smaller tire comp, tire patch that's on the ground. So you're able to lock up the, all four brakes on the car and smoke the tires if you want. You won't stop fast like that. So you have to modulate the pedal and actually kind of do your own ABS. If you look at the, the tires here, it's, it's a skinny tire. It's actually smaller than what my hand is. So when you think of, of what's on the ground all the time, you got four contact patches that are smaller than the size of my hand. Uh, like I said, it uh, makes for a fun drive. We'll do a uh, we'll get it out of the shop here and do a little drive video with it and show you what it's like. Have a cameraman in so I can concentrate on my driving while while he's filming. Any questions? Feel free to ask. We'll answer all we can. Have a great day.